Dungeons and Daddies is a rowdy, horny, violent podcast for grown-ups. Content warnings can be found in the episode description. Look, if there was some punk, some teen girl challenging you for your spot as the leader of the Black Parade, would you would you let her challenge you and win and become the leader? Or would you destroy her lyrically, rhythmically, rhymically, emotionally? I'm going to do that one instead. Yo, my name is Rasputin, and I'm here to say I'm never going to throw my shot away. Just like Alexander Hamilton. Slamilton, I got lots of bullets, and I'll always win. I promise you, I will never lose myself, because my rhymes are so high that they're on the very top shelf. You gotta find a ladder if you want to reach it. There's a lesson here, and I'm gonna teach it. These kids, boy, they snuck in. I've never seen them before. Plus, their poems suck. It was a major bore. It's obvious they're trying to steal the tape measure. That's a powerful item. Hey, that's our treasure. So here's all the ways that I'm super sad. I never feel happy because happiness is bad. Feelings of joy, psh, bro, that's just a fad. I skip those emotions and hey, I'm kind of glad. Now, I'm not glad enough to overcome depression. I can't believe you're even asking me that question. I, that means that I'm qualified as, as heck. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not done. I, 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 just let me, just let me finish. I, once I get to the course, you're going to love it. Ow, ow, fuck, ow. Welcome to Dungeons and Daddies, not a BDSM podcast. Instead, a Dungeons and Dragons podcast, a pulse pounding Dungeons and Dragons podcast about four the teams. The podcast equivalent of a page turner. That's true. Wow. What is a page turner for a podcast? An, An episode, episode Dungeons and skipper. Daddies. <laughs> An ad skipper. An ad skipper. It's a real ad skipper. Ad skipper, ad skipper 2x time listener. <laughs> Dungeons and Daddies actually is a Dungeons and Dragons podcast. This season is at least. Four teams from our world sent into the, our world back again to save it. From their dads. From our world. From our world. From our world. From a Cthulhu monster. Ooh. My name is Freddie Wong. I play Taylor Swift. Not that one. The one who... <laughs> you like that, Will? It's turning my catchphrase. <laughs> Not that one. So the ranger teen of main character of the group who is good with the sword and great with the lady. Are we letting <laughs> him get away with on? this? What is going on? What's happening? I do whatever I want. I'm, I'm all, you know what I'm <laughs> so can you, by the way. That's what improv is, baby. <laughs> teen fact. Taylor growing up was a fan, I think like many of us were, of the Berenstein Bears book. And also, by the way, grew up with it spelled E I N. Just listen. Yep. To that was the Did that get world. resolved when the world switched? Did, yeah, that, yeah, did yeah. that singularity oh, yeah. finally collapse? Anthony, Anthony what? is it Berenstein or Berenstain in uh, the Forgotten Realms? If you find a library, you'll find out. <gasps> nice. Ooh, Look at that ooh, tease. Important. That's how the best in the biz does it, baby. <laughs> His favorite of the Berenstein Bears books was. The one where they get addicted to junk food. Well, and I've talked about this. This is our favorite one, too. It's my favorite one as well. Freddie and I read it together all the time. Yeah, because the candy, the candy, the candy looks amazing. So, oh, that's a good tweet. It's like, step aside, Studio Ghibli food accounts. <laughs> step aside for the fucking OG king. <laughs> the Berenstein Bears have too much junk food one. Oh, I my God. I dare you to tweet that. I will. I will. Start I'm a gonna war. Get, I'm going to get engagement, Beth, and you're going to be so <laughs> jealous. I really don't think I will. I don't think will. so either. Dude, you don't think it's going to What are you talking I've about never heard of a this cover and these kids are pounding down yums like why you mms there's something called sweet pops that looks like cotton candy but also a gummy bear dude it looks good it how looks many good. that's all i'm saying how many followers can possibly be following studio ghibli food accounts I oh, think a lot. i'm just saying it. oh <laughs> Okay. Matthew, Matthew. Are you done? Matthew. I'm done. Get the fuck <laughs> out. Damn. I'm just making sure because you're on the computer. I don't want to. I don't want to stop if you're about to research something. Listen, here's what I'm gonna do. You do your fucking bullshit <laughs> team fact. I'm gonna fucking drop the tweet of the century, and then we'll we'll fucking All right. see. Hey everybody, my name is Matthew Arnold. I play Lincoln Lee Wilson, a schooled at home soccer kid who's the protective paladin of this group. Little teen fact, rad fact about Lincoln. I felt like this was a good time to finally just get this out there on the main podcast because I'm asked this question all the time. So Lincoln's name. Lincoln is not named after Lincoln the dog that Grant lost. They agreed that Marco would name the first kid and Lincoln would name the Grant, uh, Grant would, would name, name the second kid if they have a second kid. So Lincoln's actually named after Marco's favorite character on TV, which is Andrew Lincoln from The Walking Dead. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! And 
they were gonna call him Andrew. They were gonna call him Andrew, but Grant was like, "Nah, my last ex is named Andrew, and that's way too awkward." He's like, "Okay, we'll call him Lincoln." And then Grant was just like, "That's fine," because he refused to talk about the tragic event of missing his dog. So in very, in very that's Wilson why his fashion, his name is Lincoln Negan Wilson. <laughs> yeah, that's why in very uh, Andrew Wilson Lincoln is the actor's name, huh? Isn't Andrew Lincoln the no, actor's I think name? It's the characters. That's Rick no? Grimes. Yes, yeah, Grimes is the. Yeah, so he loved the actor. He had a big crush on the actor. Oh my god! No way! <laughs> it is what, what other word? No, they couldn't name him Grimes because Grimes <laughs> became the forty. That's true. The fifty seventh president of the yeah. United States. They went through all these things they couldn't name after the Walking Dead, and finally they got to Lincoln, and in very Wilson fashion, Grant refused to express his emotions about the drama of losing his dog, and he just nodded and said, "That's fine. We can call him Lincoln." So that's why he's called that Lincoln. Wow. He's named I'm after Andrew Bye. Lincoln, the actor of The Walking Dead. The show 40 years ago in this timeline <laughs> that Mark got it. It was his first crush. 40 years ago, 48 years since it was good. <laughs> it was his first <laughs> Yeah. Marco was a big Andrew Lincoln fan. He had a lot of those posters up on his walls. Yeah. I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm just this is how little I know Walking Dead. I searched famous Lincolns and Andrew Lincoln was the first one. I was like, oh, that's the character from The Walking he's Dead. He's got a poster on his wall of him <laughs> holding the, to me, you were perfect sign from Love Actually. Yes. That's perfect. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Will Campos. I play Normal Oak, a cool kid who's great with a sword and great with the ladies. Hey, wow. hey. Uh, Dude, that no, makes two of us. He's, <laughs> oh. he's a mixed up mascot kid who doesn't know who he is anymore. One way that Normal is trying to figure out who he is is by planning out the future of his new mustache. Oh. He's been looking up mustache styles. He's waiting, still kind of waiting for this thing to grow in a little bit more. But he's thinking like he might want to go with like a real Burt Reynolds. Oh, Burt Reynolds. He looked up an article <laughs> on Ambitious. men's health about great mustache styles. And, you know, he was like, oh, maybe like a Henry Cavill beard stash where like I do the mustache and then a little bit of stubble. But then he saw this picture of Burt and he was like, that's what I want. What that's era? what I want for my what? life. Okay, so real quick though, what era? Is he in the goatee Because you have like, you Smokey know, and the Bandit. Smokey okay. and the Bandit. The Burt. Era. Were, were just it, the stash. Were the edges kind of like curled down a little yeah, bit? Yeah, like oh, a dirt oh, bag, no. handsome dirt bag mustache is what Normal's oh, going no. for. It's not there so yet. So he's not shaving? No. He's, no. he's, got a, <laughs> he's going full in. He, the, the rate that it's growing in about seven years, he might have it. <laughs> I mean, let me ask you this, though. Mustache. Does he have it in him to achieve that? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, because some people just can't, like, my brother can't get to a facial hair. Amount not a day goes by that normal does not ask himself that very question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, he's saying, also, his backup plan is oh, a little waxy, curly Q handlebar mustache. Uh, does he already have, like, a mustache brush and all that stuff? Like, no, really I know he's been in the Forgotten Realms this entire time. That's true. Be serious. We'll put be that on the, the shopping list. Put that on the shopping yeah. list. Hi, my name is Beth May, and I play Scary Marlowe, <laughs> a goth punk seeker of darkness who is not like the other warlocks. Oh. Fun fact about Scary this week <laughs> is, <laughs> is that her favorite word in English is the word ache because it's both a noun and a verb and so closely aligned to the feelings of her soul. Love it. Damn. Ache. Damn. Ache. Is that the closest in terms of a noun and a verb that aligns with her? So I'm trying to think like what other. No, there's like, I was just on a Grammarly website trying to find. And like a is a... near the beginning of the alphabet. <laughs> and a is so close. Her God, favorite yeah. word is Lincoln. <laughs> her favorite word. Is the walking dead. Is the walking dead. <laughs> it's season two of the walking That's dead. That's what she feels like every day. Just a walking corpse. Damn. Corpse bride. Nice. That's a movie too. Yeah. Wow, Matt, you with the reference, bro. Wow. Rent. All right. Wow. I'm Anthony Birch. I'm your dad. Hey, dad. I, I think my favorite word is midst. Because there's not a lot of DST like words. Mitz. Oh, Mitz. okay, yeah. Okay. It's just an odd concept. How do you feel cluster. about daily savings time? I don't like it. <laughs> oh, interesting, interesting, interesting. We say we do it for farmers. Farmers don't need that shit. Farmers, <laughs> yeah. Have you fucking seen the shit? Like, farmers got so much fucking. They got drones and shit, dude. <laughs> You think someone with a drone needs to change <laughs> yeah. the time one hour? Yeah, like, they're beyond pre such fucking bullshit. petty bullshit. <laughs> they fucking can fly their drones and water their crops with fucking computers and iPads. My Shut drone the fuck up. They're still the like, hey, can we, get, can we get the sun to come down a little earlier so we can go to bed on time? It's like, what are you talking about? There's probably more esports gamers out there than our farmers, right? <laughs> what the fuck what are you talking <laughs> about, man? I'm just saying, look, this might be a weird hill to die on. Literally, maybe esports gamers. 
gamers are more important to society than farmers. No! Is that weird? No! Like, oh, yes, that's weird. That's insane. Yeah. No. There are approximately. Maybe, maybe that's weird. I, I guess follow. that's weird. You guys, I'm hearing no the feedback. No esports gamers ever kept me fed unless they were doing a shitty job in the jungle at law. That's right. They're feeding my top mains. Um, no, hold on, Matt. There's like five. Okay, hold on. No, Google was, how many farmers are there. Look, look, that was without a doubt on purpose the stupidest thing I've ever said. Wow, so, are you saying farmers, farmers in the U.S.? Farmers. That's wild. There are two point oh one million U.S. Farmers. Oh yeah, welcome to the concurrent fucking player count on Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> if you're uh, a farmer listening to this, don't at me. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> don't at me from your fucking technological <laughs> chamber at the front seat of your John Deere as you fly. If you're, if you're a farmer, wait for the Looney Tunes like da na 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 <laughs> as the sun rises, yawn all big as your rooster crows, and then turn on your drones and send them to bomb that house. <laughs> When we last left the group, you had gone into the city to see the Black Parade. When I was. <laughs> Scary had successfully managed to convince the Black Parade that she was actually considerably darker and edgier and more in tune with her emotional, dark, depressive side than the current drum major was, leading the Black Parade to beat him to death. If you're a drum major and you're beat to death, is that an ironic death? It is. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. Yes. As they were punching him, they were going, am I lagging or am I rushing? <laughs> like, Drums. They're like, paradiddle this. Left, right, left, right, right. They would punch him with a left, right, left, right, right. And you, you, Will? Just Will. I love it. I love it. There's going to be Will wh- also doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Will's just trying to fill the silence with something so you don't feel too bad. All I know is that there's a couple of musicians out there who got a good hearty out of that one. <laughs> okay, so the Black Parade has knelt and declared that Scary is their new leader. And what happened to the, you know, we were there to get this the key. Uh, tape measure. Oh, yes, oh, the, the tape, tape measure is still is around Vince's waist. Cool, so can I have that tape measure, Vince? Vince, without hesitation, offers to use this. Yes, yes, of course. Now, who are we going to go kill? Oh, uh, kill. Yeah, kill. Um, <laughs> probably like our inner demons. You uh, know? How would we do that? They're unkillable, right? They're forever. That's the whole point of why we're all miserable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course. Um, And then also uh, kill ants. Vince is going to narrow his one-dimensional eyes <laughs> and do an insight check. And he goes, I don't... I liked that poem. We all like that poem. I was like, yeah, we really like oh, that poem. Yeah, it was really good from the heart. It was from the heart. I don't know if you're actually the darkest person in what? your What? In your what do you mean I'm not the darkest I, I In uh, your group. Taylor wants to verify that. But yeah, she's pretty dark. Vince goes, well, this one seems to be, he has some, some lightness in himself because he believes in himself because he's stupid. And <laughs> this one, Link, What's he's, up? He's just sad. That's not the same as dark. What, man? Hey, yo, chill out. She's got so many people she wants to kill, but like she can't bother right now, man. Just give her a second. Yeah, Why are you so angsty, man? more important man? things to do, you know? Yeah. But Vince, but Vince, Jesus Christ. But <laughs> Vince goes like, eh, 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 his little one frame <laughs> animation walk and moves up right next to normal and goes, this one though. Oh, hi there. You, yeah, yeah. What was up? There's something in this one. So he got a 14 insight if you want to roll to deceive to like hide your true nature or something if you want. Um, I don't feel like I'm going to do that. Okay. I feel like I'm an open book. So he goes, this one is miserable. This one is in the most delectable and distinct agony of any of you. You. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, right. I mean, my tummy hurts from getting hurt uh, a little while ago and i'm really in pain yeah i'm not miserable what are you talking about i'm you know i'm teaming the team i mean i'm not anymore and you know <laughs> there's like a couple things i'm upset about but like i don't know if i call myself what are miserable. you upset about well you, i mean you know just some stuff like stuff with my dad or whatever but you know like I, i'm making do you said you're by. not you said I, you're not teeny the teen why are you not teeny the teen i don't know what that means but why are you not that thing i mean because you know it seemed like uh, it just wasn't really working for me and it wasn't making people proud of me so you know i just wanted to like maybe <laughs> see if there was a new kind of style i could do up like i'm working on this great mustache i'm really happy about that so how does you know, everyone else feel about the mustache uh, and you guys all love it, right? Like we all like the mustache. Can I get insight on? Is he looking like he's gonna get violent or? Yeah, go ahead and roll insight. Uh, fourteen. So the fourteen, you can tell he is not going to get violent at normal. He is trying to see which of you, between normal and scary, is actually the one with a better grip on 
their own darkness and depression. Which of you is actually more miserable than me? Okay, so he's trying to just choose between the two of them. Norm, I can't believe you're doing this to me. You're really stealing my thunder, and you're really taking all the attention away from me. I can't believe you've done this. Uh, But I'm not trying. I'm sorry. No, you're, I'm sorry, Scary. That's not what I'm trying to do. Like, you're like the the meanest, worst person of all time, right? Yeah, yeah. Vince goes, oh, look, everyone, look. She said one word, and he immediately bent over backwards to make her happy. He doesn't stand up for himself at all. Oh, he's a, he's a, a doormat. He's a doormat and he's miserable. Nothing has made him happy and he's done everything for other people. I mean, yeah, okay. Let's say I'm not like the most happy person on earth, but like, if you think I'm that bad, like you should trust me to tell you this scary. She's the one you want, right? Like she's got like this dad that thinks she's great and she like, you know, treats him like crap. Like she must be miserable, right? Like, yeah, like that sucks. That's like a, that's Terry's a... never done anything wrong to me. It's just that I'm like moody and I am in pain. And so, yeah. Yeah, like she has someone who loves her no matter what and is super proud of her and she's still upset, right? It's like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, what's that about? Uh, so Vince pulls out a knife and puts it to Terry Jr.'s throat. And he Careful, says, that blade's one dimensional. It's the thinnest possible blade. <laughs> and he says, oh, you, you don't like this one. So you would feel nothing if I if I ended him right now, right? Because it's all pointless. Uh, no, I would feel um, sadness because that's what I feel all the time. Ooh. Roll deception? 18. 18. Ooh. Okay. So they go, ah, your sadness is so omnipotent that the death of another wouldn't change it. That's not, that's not bad, I see. Maybe you are the dark one. Maybe, yeah. maybe you can lead us to take others to the forever sleep. <laughs> so the forever sl- is like his in death? I mean, kind of just, <laughs> just like less sad. Could you, um, can we do a teen huddle real yeah, quick? Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. sure. Just, like, just yeah. give us a second. We need to talk about how much our lives suck. suck. Just yeah. Been yeah, they suck so Yeah, bad. just let all us right. know when you're ready to, to lead us into battle against the undergrowth. Okay. Right, well, maybe you all should go like start like marching or whatever. You guys are slagging off. Get out of yeah, here. Yeah, practice do your, your practice your baton twirls. Guys, I'm the leader seem, here. Oh, you're right. Yeah, leader. Oh, yeah, you yeah, tell, yeah. yeah, they All don't right. seem very miserable, do they, leader? No. You guys each have to insult each other uh, twice uh, <laughs> in a really hurtful way. So Yeah, there. get real personal. Okay, we'll do that. Okay. Um, also, um, on the ground is an item. This item was sent to us by Adam. Thank you, Adam. It is the drum major baton. It is a oh. bow staff you can use as a weapon. Similar to Glenn's nunchucks, but it can also be used as a distraction if you succeed multiple different like throws and tricks that get more difficult as they go on again, Mm. like the nunchucks. Every successful check for normal heals normal for 1d4, and every fail deals 1d4 psychic damage to normal. (gasps) No matter who's using it? it. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's just always attached to normal? <laughs> no, 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 always, no. Normal really cares, yeah. No, normal is oh. influenced heavily by this oh. object. Oh, so that's you can great. still have it oh, okay. after you want it. Okay, so Scary picks it up. Okay. Oh, uh, that's fine. Yeah, you can have that. <laughs> cool. Vince is already like, look, see, look how fun that <laughs> hey, one shut is. Shut up, Vince! Okay, fair enough. You okay, ninny, teen. he says to a friend of his. <laughs> 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 okay, teen huddle. Hey, I think having Fuck. this big army hanging around us that we can direct feels like a good thing. Well, I mean, it doesn't seem that solid. Like, she was a leader within one second. Like, one of the gruntlings is already, like, threatening to, like, usurp. Like, I don't know. It seems like a very unstable army. I was going to say, like, I know do we anything- stay here? If I know anything about band people and band kids, it's that they smell fear and they will turn on you in a second if you show any weakness in front of them. So I think we really caught a tiger by the tail with this one. My thought is, why don't we just grab this yeah, tape measure and bounce? Like, let's get out of here. Yeah, why do we need yeah. this? Like, let, whatever. Yeah, I mean, it would be a, a lot of a lot of responsibility to have to, you know, control the whole army or whatever. The marching band, rather. Hey, uh, T-Dog. Yeah, what's, what's, what's up? <laughs> Am I in the huddle now? Yeah. yeah. Cool, Who? cool. I, I, Terry. I, Terry. Oh. I, I wave him over. What's our exfil strategy, bro? I was thinking we would like walk away because they're all looking at us. So yeah. I thought we would just walk back to the pussy wagon and then just drive away. Yeah, that That's pretty, not a bad plan that at sounds all. sounds good to and me. And we all stick close together, you know, hold hands again so that the vision doesn't happen, remember? Like, so you and, and your stepdad aren't separated so nobody can die. You probably oh, yeah. don't want to let them see you holding hands with your stepdad. That seems like that would be a pretty non-goth thing to do. Yeah, though. I yeah. mean, I'm not doing that, so. You just like punch him in the back of the head the whole time we're walking or whatever. <laughs> I, I Terry punched, raises a finger in protest as if to say something. I punched Terry in the shoulder. Ow. <laughs> Anyways, I think I've got an exit strategy. What's the plan? Just follow my lead. All right. Okay. All right. You got it. What should we, can we call you like boss? Yeah. Do you want a cool leader name? What's your leader name? S- scary. 
Captain oh, yeah. Scary. Terry puts his hand on your shoulder and says, and that's that's enough. Just as you as that is the yeah, What that's are you enough, trying the, to say? <laughs> something my my dad told me or my mom told me it was like that's the just just being scary is cool. Okay, scary is that's cool. a weird thing for your dad to say, but whatever. <laughs> Fuck, I fucked it up. Fuck. It's like you are enough just the thing that just you do the so way you, the, you the, the, the things you do are good, I think. Yeah, right? That's, that's, that's what it. he's kind of trying yeah. to say. Yeah. I'm trying well, to say I'm trying to say I'm cool, saying scary. that the opposite of that. So you're no good. I'm no good. Oh, what makes you say that? I don't have to interrupt, but can we like we could probably do this like yeah. down, down the road. In the wagon. Yeah. His eyes widen and he turns to you and he's like, I was I was right on the cusp of making <laughs> I such like, a, I'm sorry. Such I a fucking go, breakthrough. I, you fucked it up for me. I lean in and I go, You you weren't close, buddy, yet. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't rush it, man. Don't rush it. You're okay. Just, uh, you know, just be there for her. You're okay. Man. This whole time, by the way, Taylor is like Naruto finger tutting like this information back to Hermie, who is watching with the uh, Hermie's just nodding solemnly through the monocular. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. <laughs> yeah. He's like, cool. I don't know what this means, but it means that Taylor wants to talk to me. That's that's pretty cool. I'm Taylor's favorite. Okay, scary. We'll follow your lead. Okay. Uh, um, attention, band. I have an announcement to make. Um, it would be such a cool fucking honor to be your leader which is why i have to step down because <laughs> it would be so cool that it might make me happy and i can't have that because nothing should ever make me happy i am too unworthy and depressed clinically to, <laughs> 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 to be your leader and thus i must depart this land's as a last command to you, I say, march on in that direction and <laughs> feel very sad. Mm. All right. Give me persuasion. With advantage because she's leader? She is the leader. Well, she just gave it up mid-sentence. Right? <laughs> Does she get advantage because those who don't want to lead are the most they want to do? The they best. lead with most of the lead? The okay, thing that you just said? I got five plus five, ten. Ten. Okay. So with a ten... Vince again, like people are beginning to like surround. Trump trying to tell all those guys to go home after the incident. Yeah, very. <laughs> you're very special. Oh, yeah. Go home. I know what she's really saying. Okay, so Vince goes. I knew it. There's something off. There's something off. You haven't actually tasted true despair. You actually don't know what it's like to be really, really miserable. And I think that you're a poser. Poser. Yeah. Everything is that right, everybody? Well, poser. Well, I think that you're a poser. fucko and a loser and a and a and a a, a, a two dimensional squid person. The bandmates around you lift their instruments and they go, "You'll know what it is to be truly miserable once you've heard this music." Oh God, I'm sure I will. Yeah. So, either you can prove that you're hardcore and that you don't care about anything in some way that may surprise me or delight me usually involving violence. You'll have to come without yourself or we'll play this music for you and we'll know for, sh for sure that you know what it is to be miserable and then you can lead us for good. Uh, I, lean, I lean over to scary. Hey, I don't know if this will help, but like I got this gun that shoots humans. Maybe like, can you like <laughs> shoot yourself out of it or like shoot your stepdad or just be like, I'm so, I don't give a shit. I just, every day I watch <gasps> no, myself die. I kill, I literally take a gun and wait, I shoot wait, 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 no, corpse no. out. Let them play that music. For a clone of you. Yeah, but like, if we're away from them where they don't see us, we might as well just run. But we could also just run away. Scary, if you want to bully me to prove to, your, oh, that's a to good these one. guys that you're super hardcore, you, you can do that. Just give me both barrels. I can take it. Okay. Yeah, why don't you just tell them that we're your quote unquote best friends and then just like devastate us in front of them. <laughs> yeah, just, just, I drop to my knees and I say, Roast me. Yeah, roast me. Roast the shit out of me. <clears throat> I'd like to see you try to roast me by that. Uh, Reddit r backslash roast me. And here's the evidence. It's me. I put up a little sign that says my Instagram account. It's me. Uh, <laughs> Do your uh, worst. Uh, um, attention band. Challenge accepted, obviously. You're about to see the roast of the century. These are the only people that love me. <laughs> right here. All I have. Norm... You've got bad B.O., man. <gasps> That's oh, just no. me doing a service to you to let you know so you can be clean. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate but, I mean, that. Not, <laughs> oh, God. Wow. Oh, no. I don't know why you're so scared of anything else when you should be mostly scared that you'll never make your parents proud. Oh, God. <laughs> And Taylor. <laughs> Taylor's looking at his uh, fingernails. You think you're so cool. Uh-huh. 
but you're not. Meh. You're just a a sad little dude. <laughs> and his father's in hell and abandoned him. And your father went to hell to get away from you. <laughs> This does affect Taylor. Get your with him. <laughs> and no matter how cool and how hot you think you are, you're never gonna make him come out. Hold me back. Someone hold me back. I can't. I'm too. I'm too hurt. I'm. I'm already down. Like and, you gotta uh, help him. And Lincoln. You're all grabbing your chest like somebody wrote the death note about you. <laughs> you're named after a subpar actor. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, what? And, uh, I never knew that. <laughs> you're way too preoccupied with what your parents think of you. Yeah. And Terry. <laughs> Terry. Terry's beckoning you forward with, with hands like, oh, I got I can, easy. I can take it. <laughs> <laughs> Terry, Terry turns and goes, Andrew Link is a very bad actor. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> watch, Love, watch Love Actually again. He's a very bad actor. Ta Taylor's like leaning against Lincoln. He's like, yeah, I need your help. Now Lincoln also collapses. We just a pile. Terry, I've been alive for 15 years and I haven't learned how to love myself. What gives you the right to try it in eight months? Whoa. You, you, you dummy. Terry narrows his eyes and goes, I don't know if that's a roast on me. It is because um, if you think it's so easy to be my dad, then you got another thing coming. Because my first dad didn't stick around. And so he's really cool because he knows how dark and scary and wants to stay away from me. And that's how it should be. Tell him he's got fat ankles. You've got <laughs> fat ankles and you're and, and I, I think you're needy. And I think that. Your eyes are too close together. So the others, other than Terry, I feel like they accepted your roasting. I think for Terry, you're going to have to roll like intimidation or persuasion with disadvantage. No, he's not sensitive about his looks. <sighs> no. <laughs> Nor his ankles. No, though. he's a grown man. He's, he's a grown like, man. His ankles look fucking glorious. <laughs> yeah, I know. His wife is Veronica. No, he's still that for a long time. He just has extra white shoes. <laughs> he's fine. That's good. You got the Terry, new balance I'm, wives. I'm never going to love you. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Ooh. Now... You don't have to tell me, but it can be deception as well. You can roll with deception or intimidation or persuasion. You don't have to tell me which. Uh, not with the disadvantage because that's pretty good. Nice. I got a 16 plus 5. Ooh. Okay, so with the 21, you see it hit him. You see those, like, he's all soft. He's like, his arms are actually opening up to sort of bring you into an embrace. As you mentioned that, like, you haven't loved yourself in 15 years. But even despite all that, once you say... I'm never going to love you. He realizes like the truth of it and believes you wholeheartedly. And he like steps back with the emotional impact, <laughs> but it's like an anime thing where he like digs his back foot in like, <laughs> and slides second. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. His eyes begin to get a little bit wet. So Vince and the other members of the black parade look at your friends in a little pile and they go, that's not bad. That's not bad. But we all know that to be truly deep, dark and cool you have to hate no one else more than you hate yourself what is the roast that you would roast yourself with <laughs> that i am a poser what? i'm a fucking phony and i don't even like traditionally dark things like black's not my favorite color or whatever it's actually pink <laughs> but i just i get so lonely that i thought that i could push everybody away but it's just stupid. It's a stupid little game that a little girl who doesn't know jack shit is playing. I miss soccer. Ooh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> he does it quietly, though. <laughs> Roll persuasion with advantage. Nine plus five, 14. So the 14, Vince nods at you and he goes, it's not bad, kid. It's not bad. My dad left me. When I was a baby, he wanted nothing to do with me. My mom keeps saying she doesn't know where he is, but I bet she does. I bet he's too cool for me. Fucking Terry thinks it's going to be all easy to come in here and love me, but the one person who should have didn't. Vince is like, whoa, you had me. Like, you were, <laughs> we, were, we were good. I'm sad all the time. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> All right, it's a little I'm so much. lonely, oh, and no. my tummy hurts from getting the, the those five hit points, and oh. nobody's paying attention to me, and that's what's really, really. Everyone is paying oh, we're all paying attention right, right now, but it feels like we're not to you, which is even worse. Oh boy. Okay, everybody, I guess let's pack it up. Let's get let's get moving. She said that we had to go in the other direction and and just 
think about our lives or whatever. What did you tell us to do? Come up with a, another sad song. Another sad song, right. Yeah, and then uh, if it's cool, like I'll listen to it later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you again, but yeah, okay, we're good for now. Jeez, Louise, okay. Man, maybe talk to somebody, woof. Well, yeah, I mean, things are really dark, yeah. Okay, bye. Oh, wait, give me that thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. still on his... Oh, he's, he ta yeah, he takes the tape measure off and tosses it to you. Nice, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Woof. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, so so I guess we'll forget about the Undergrove then. We're just going to sort of hang wait, out here. what's that? The Undergrove? It's the place we're at war with. Oh, okay. Just like, oh. do a quick wait, summary. Wait, that was in Grant there? Somewhere in Grant the Undergrove? What's that? What is, the, what is that, though? It's a place where a lot of people live that we don't like. Well, yeah, probably is good. If, if my dad's there, then like, yeah, have them forget it. I don't want to, we don't want to go there in the middle of a war. Yeah, like, it's, that would be freaking too cool if you did that. And that's lame. We don't want to be cool. So like, yo, yeah, don't, yeah. Terry, I mean, it's scary. You tell them you're better, you're better at it. But yeah, so, yeah, no war with Undergrove. That would be good for us. Yep. Just carry on. Keep calm and carry on. Just carry on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, I don't know why he's saying yeah. it like that. <laughs> no, Vince, Vince I, points and goes like, wait a second, there's something there. Ah. Nah, fuck it. No, that was terrible. <laughs> Man, teenagers scare the living shit out of me, bro. <laughs> so they walk into the difference. I guess this is how they disappear. Anyone else? No, no, no. That was no, no, no. the only ones who know the film. No. No, but there's no one either. Just no. you. Just you, Will. And sharpest lives. Now Will's the leader. He's the saddest yeah. of us all. <laughs> The Black Parade heads back into the city, basically going over new lyrics and trying to find new ways to impress you now that you've blown them away with how deep and dark and self-reflective somebody can be. Terry goes, oh, okay. I thought I was going to, I thought I would, this is where I, huh, okay. Nope. And hey, that was yeah, all. you didn't die yeah. up top. Uh, that was really fun make-believe, right? <laughs> uh, his eyes are still wet and he does not high-five you and he goes, yeah, no, definitely didn't, uh, I guess I didn't die. I guess not. I guess Definitely didn't have my heart. See, broken. I knew you're overreacting. Yeah, yeah, silly me, silly me. Okay, well, I guess I can. Uh, head I back. lean over to Terry and I go, "Hey, man, I've seen her like in acting class. She's like a really good. I've, you know, she thinks she's a good don't actor. Talk I can tell she's just acting. <laughs> don't what? talk. I said, don't talk to me. Oh, all right. I don't like man, you. you. No, what? You're mean. Never mind. Whatever. I'm just yeah. trying to help you, dude. Hey, hey, Mister. What's no, I don't help him. He's mean. <laughs> no, if you but like you know, if you want to be like proud of another kid and like love them, you know, there's other kids out there. That's all I'm saying. You know, like if you want to be supportive and you know tell someone that they're doing a good job. You know, I bet there's other kids out there that you know would like having that some kind of role model. I don't know. Maybe like they have those programs like Big Brother, Little Sister, Big Brother, Big Sister. I put my hands like on that. normal. Dude, you, know? you can do better, man. <laughs> <laughs> you're worth it, dude. I know you're having a hard time, but you're worth it. You're a good one, man. And your mustache looks great and you're fine, dude. Like, you don't want him. He's mean. No, I like this one. Well, I, I like you. you normal. Well, I, I like. like you, Terry Jr. <laughs> oh, God. Scary was right about the smell, though. You need to see about that. That's not. Oh, okay. It's it's going to drive wow, people you, away. Yeah, you're really not good at this, are you? I'm just saying it's going to drive people away. Do you want friends? Or do you not want friends? Yeah, no, sorry. Sorry. Fuck. I fucked it up. I fucked it up. I fuck everything up. Fuck. So if you want to, you can just head back to the uh, portal and drop off Terry, or you can try to take him to the undergrove. But also, it has now been 24 hours since you've been in uh -oh. this world. So everybody go ahead and roll a D20. And depending on how well you roll, that is the quality of memory you will lose. 11. That's a 10. I got a natural 20. Ooh, I got a 19. Do we want to roll low or roll high? You wanted to roll high. Okay. okay. So scary, you don't lose anything. Link, you lose a bad memory. I forget that I'm named after Andrew Link. <laughs> 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 the psychic damage undoes itself. Normal and Taylor, you're going to lose memories that are an everyday sort of element of your lives up to this point. Something you would Season sort of take for granted. Season 12 of The Walking Dead. It's oh, going no. <laughs> Something that we would take for granted. Something you take for granted and look back on later in life. is like, oh, I used to eat sandwiches with my sister uh, mom cooking when I was waiting for my dad every to come Wednesday. home. I've suddenly lost my desire to read things right to left. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty um, big. Normal has lost the concept of Taco Tuesday. Whoa, no, no. <laughs> Will. A Will. load-bearing concept. Will, think about that. Will, before you go down that <laughs> route. Also, like, the only reason the school still 
still does Taco Tuesdays is because Norma would always like remind. Yeah, the, like it's Taco Tuesday, council. everyone. And then like two years from now, everybody's like, why don't we have Taco Tuesdays anymore? It's all <laughs> Norma was important to the school, damn it. Norma was the only one left on Earth. It was like the elevator. <laughs> she was the only one who remembered Taco Tuesday. Fantastic. Yes, everybody has lost their requisite memory. I guess reading from right to left is not memory. You forgot that you like to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot the password to your weird fucking machine oh, in your bedroom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget one of my most important passwords, which is the password that controls my home automation system in my room. <laughs> so it's you like forgot, the online dude from You forgot the perfect AI art prompt to generate anime waifus. <laughs> oh, my God. That's right. I found it once. 4K realistic anime girl art station. <laughs> what was the rest of render it? in the style of who was it? Who was it? <laughs> Great. And a hole in my heart opens up <laughs> for all the waifus that I will not have. <laughs> all the kind of weird, vacant looking waifus. <laughs> to all the waifus <laughs> I've had before. <laughs> you have uh, one more dad to rescue. You can either get rid of this one uh, <laughs> or you can hang out with them. Wait, does, Terry, does Terry lose a memory? Yeah, Terry does lose a memory. But we don't know what, we don't you know know what, what it is. Okay. Okay. No. Teen Huddle, Teen Huddle. Yeah, that's oh, really okay. What's up? Just real quick. I say that we just sort of mentioned that this guy Willie got out on his own. Oh yeah, we should see how he responds He's to that. He's going to find out about Willie when he oh, gets yeah. back. Do you want to frame the context on that at all, Scary? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I, just I feel think like we should still call Willie April Mistwell, which is a really anagram of Willie Stampler. Oh, that oh, is that's cool. cool. Oh, okay, that makes oh, sense. Oh, that's from. That's, that's fun. That's good. That's but really good. That's like May oh, okay. thing. I couldn't really feel like May, well, April. I couldn't really figure it out. No. All right. April not to, Mistwell. Not, not to throw a flag, but... um. Yeah, I get the secretness, but like, you know, I feel like we should tell your stepdad what he's going into. I don't think that's really nice to like, we know that Willie was bad to him. So like, we should tell him before yeah, we throw him I, into mm. literally Willie. Like, okay, I think I can handle this. Okay, okay. for sure. Yeah, for Let sure. Let us know if you need anything. Okay, and, and, yeah. And please don't so be like on the drive over I know something. you're pretending, but it really hurt my feelings. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sorry. Okay. I'm I'm bad. I'm bad. Okay. Also, scary. If you're ever looking for like a you know a pass buddy and you just want to kick the ball around, you know. What? No, I was completely lying when I said. Oh, that okay. I'm well, that's cool. I I'm not lying. So if you do, <laughs> let me know. Okay. Um, Terry. Uh, so yeah. listen about the other world. This dude is out running around there, <laughs> and um, he's pretty cool actually. He's um a little like less approachable which makes him more approachable in my eyes he doesn't try to put on airs or to you know like make me like him and um he's got like a mean streak right so like i just find him kind of inspiring but he's out there and you should probably know about it so you you wanted me to know there's like a there's like a chill hot guy <laughs> <laughs> Back yeah. On. Well, no, not like uh, hot like that. Like it's just like a chiller oh, step sure. <laughs> dad material kind of. Oh, are you saying? Are you saying your mom is has been seeing? No, 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 else? no. It's My not like that. Mom it's has just been like I, you else. know, I feel like. Why is that kid talking? Yeah, Taylor, come read the room, man. Let's come on, come on. Let's uh, tell me about survival stuff. I really want to know about tents. Ah, well. So the first thing you need to know is it's Willie Stampler. So for a second, he steps back in like shock as if you just like slapped him in the face and then he cocks his head a little bit and goes well wait a second if i was supposed to die surrounded by the black parade i'm safe when i go back i can just fucking kill the guy no i can just i can just handle it i can just i can kill him no, and he can't he's stop not me. like causing havoc i'm just saying i was saying as a courtesy i don't know why i was all of a sudden i'm preoccupied with courtesy of all things i'm just saying that he's out there and that you should know. And, and he's dating and then he's Taylor's, Taylor's, Taylor's mom. mom. So okay, you're looking for a place to start. That's not really relevant to me, but I, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I think I have to, so, oh, so it sounds like you like this guy, Yeah. which is not, I don't know why you, I don't get that. I'm sorry, I don't yeah. get it. He's he's bad, he's a bad person. He's worse than you think. He's just shitty, he's, he's fucking awful. And I finally have a chance to finish him off. Then you're staying with us. That's you're not going back there. I think I'm, gonna i don't know if you can stop me can we stop him i don't i mean i don't i, I, I don't want to stop him i mean you can I, you know it's between you and your dad but scary, like I, lo I love you but like i have to get rid of this guy to keep you safe like if you go back and he's still running around it could be very very bad for you and your friends and sorry i snapped at you lincoln 
No response from Lincoln. No that's response fair. from Lincoln. That's oh, what? Fair. Oh, you were saying that to me? Yes. Why did you oh, snap at him? When he leaned over and was like, hey, she's a bad actor. And I was like, oh, you didn't give me eye contact. Say that again. Oh, that's not snapping. I don't Snapping's give, like I don't give eye contact really to anybody. At someone. No. Oh, it's, it's okay, man. I get it. You're having a hard time with your stepdaughter. That's tough. I got it. Yeah, it's also my own stuff. I'm sorry I called you a jerk. Why don't you stay here while I take a quick nap, and then we can discuss it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you go back to the pussy wagon, and I assume you could, like, drive back and then take your nap while you're on your way back to wherever you want to go. Sure. Yeah, sure. We're going to take you back to the portal. Let's just go back to the pussy wagon. I'm just going to get some Zs on the back of the pussy wagon, <laughs> and then we'll uh, say our goodbyes there. Why, why don't you drive so the four of us can talk in the back? Sure. Yeah, I can drive. I, I know the way back to the portal. And I just want to say thanks for being mature about this. Of all the things I've done to keep you safe, this will be the one that I feel the best about and the least morally ambivalent about. So yeah, I'm okay, uh, cool whatever. But yeah, I believe in you all that you could survive out here and that you can find Grant and bring him back too. And then we'll be good. Then we can fix all this. So yeah. Vroom, vroom. I'm driving okay. now. <laughs> <laughs> he says that aloud, by the way. <laughs> Very dad energy. Yeah. Uh, Where's the, the radio seat, on this thing, right? I'm gonna put, <laughs> Don't tweak that one. <laughs> I'm going to put the nightcap on. So you instantly fall asleep. Okay. And then Lincoln instantly takes off. He's like, scary, what's going on? What are you going to do? <laughs> hey, I'm going to put a little do not disturb sign on this hat. So oh. just say, give me some space. Okay. Hey, everybody. She needs space. <laughs> so. I put the hat back on. Okay. You fall asleep. Willie, are you here in like the dream space? Yeah, what's up? You, you okay? Whoa, you're actually here. We all look at Scary and she's kind of like moving like a dog that's having a dream. <laughs> <laughs> she's like running in place. Yeah, she's chasing she's dreaming. rabbits. <laughs> So I think my stepdad is coming back there to like try to kill you. He can't do that, can he? <laughs> he can try, but no, he's not going to kill me. Do you want me to kill? I mean, I, I don't have to kill him. Um, I mean, is he cool? Like, how is he like, I mean, I knew him when he was like a little, little, and I don't know how he's changed, you know, since then. Like, well, he's, it's sort of up to you. He's complicated. He's like nice, I guess. And he, you know, supports me or whatever, but he tries too hard and he comes off as a goofball and it's embarrassing. Oh, so he's like a nerd. Okay. Yeah. No, I get that. You know what? Let's err on the side of, I'll beat him up bad enough that he doesn't want to keep fighting. I'm not going to kill him though. I'll keep him alive. Is that okay. fair? Does that sound fair? Yeah. But yeah, no, he'll definitely try some stuff. I'll make sure he doesn't. Okay. Stay safe. Hey, you too. And then what should our next move be? Well, you can go get Grant. I'm also thinking... So, oh, yes. Ah, that was the other thing I want to tell you. So there's basically a kind of a church somewhere in, on Earth. I've basically just been sort of sitting around and just sort of like psychically reaching out into, you know, where you are, which is why we can, we can talk like this. And... I think there is a church somewhere that a long time ago, some folks tried to basically build a way of communicating with and sort of showing their admiration for the doodler in the hopes that he would basically show mercy on them. And I think if you go there, that's the place where you're going to have a, the easiest time actually diving into the doodler's mind and maybe finding a way to, to kill him. So, yeah, I think once you, once you figure out, you know, you give me a little bit to pinpoint exactly where it is, but I know that's probably your next stop after you uh, deal with, you know, getting whatever Lincoln's dad sorted or whatever cool. all right yeah you cool you good yeah yeah i am i think i am okay do you need anything like like i, I mean like like no ma magic now you're advice? trying too hard man <laughs> okay, okay fair enough that, no, no you got me there yeah it's my first time trying like i'm just i'm trying yeah but no that's that's fair uh right. i'm gonna go uh make out with taylor's mom a little bit more all but right. yeah you have a good one <laughs> i take the hat off but you're asleep Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Did do we say have to, how long we're oh, supposed to let we her? Have to, I think we have to take this thing off. It says do not disturb. It's oh been God. like 12 hours. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, Terry, uh, Mr. Uh, Marlow? Yeah. Uh, are we close? Yeah, we're, we're basically there. Okay, we, yeah, we should hey, get off. Hey, man, well, but, but real quick, like, what's the deal with this Willie guy? Like, yeah, we read yeah. the book, and he seems like bad news. But at the same time, like, I got to be honest, you guys seem like bad news. You did. Yeah, like, sort of bad news all pretty, around. Pretty bad shit to, like, keep us safe. And I understand why you did it. But, like, we're not really crazy about this whole idea of blowing up more planets and stuff. It doesn't seem like a good way to do it. And it seems like this Willie guy has another idea for how we can not do that by, like, fighting the doodler. It seems like he's got a plan. So I, I don't know. I, I feel kind of conflicted. I got to be honest. I understand why you might feel conflicted. And... I mean, I remember what it was like to be a teen. Everything was confusing. Your adults are telling you this thing and that thing, and you're sure that you're smarter than them, and you're sure that they don't know what they're talking about, and you know that when you're an adult, you're going to do better, and you're going to be smarter, and you're going to have your shit together. And then one day, oh shit, you're an adult, and oh shit, 
you don't have your shit together any better than anybody else. This feels like you're avoiding the question. Yeah. The answer to your question is we made mistakes trying to protect you. Willie never made mistakes. Everything Willie wanted to do was intentional. Everybody he hurt, he wanted to hurt. And every bad thing that he did was part of some greater plan. So if you think that he has some sort of way of getting rid of the doodler that's going to be bloodless or that's going to ultimately be better than whatever we can think up, I think you're kidding yourselves. I can't stop you from doing what you want to do. You're not my kids. I mean, scary is, but I mean, well, she's not. I guess, no, she's not. No, she's not. I can't stop any of you. She doesn't give a shit about me. Why should you give a shit about what I have to say? I'm just some dumbass adult. But I can tell you that Willie kidnapped me and my friends when I was a kid, and he was going to keep us locked up for good so that he could be immortal. And if you think that's the kind of guy who could just change his mind after a while and become a good person and really want to protect all of you, I don't know what to tell you. You may not like what I and the others want to do to stop the doodler, but I can guarantee you you're also going to dislike way more whatever it is that Willie thinks he can do. Because I don't know what his plan is, but I know whatever it is, it can't be good. Why did you tell, like, did you tell your, tell your wife no. any of this? So, like, did my dad not tell Marco anything? I don't know what Grant did. How come you guys didn't get, like, help from anybody? Like We went to everybody. When this first started, we went to the FBI. The FBI came to us. We talked to all the feds and everything, and they seemed to be the most interested in how they could maybe use the doodler for themselves or get into hell and use all the, the resources they had there. They got very distracted very quickly Drops by by Nikki and his and his family rather than the larger problem, which they tended to think of as not that big a deal. I mean, as far as they were concerned, it was just more kooky stories about poltergeists and, and witchcraft and, and stuff that they already had a, a long history of ignoring. The stuff we wanted them to pay attention to, they just wouldn't. So we had to go out as a family in a basically a couple of mystery machine that reference is probably lost on you. We just all we all went into a big van and went out and tried to solve some of these YouTube ghost hunters. But how did you find like like you have Miss Hale like and she's great. She's doing like all sorts of stuff and like so why like you just put it all on on her and then you didn't give us anything like you didn't protect us at all. Like protecting is also trusting. So I just don't understand like how Grant or like how how you guys could all do that. Yeah, you didn't train us on how to use weapons. We were trying to protect you from every part of it, not just the danger, but the losing your innocence as quickly as we did and the having to learn how to load a gun when you were 12 and having to do all that. I'm sure Taylor thinks it's this this one with the sword all probably thinks it's super cool. was important and I could have been a great market <laughs> improvement on my life. I'm sure you would have loved that, but you also would have missed out on all the fun parts of your childhood, all the things that I mean, I'm assuming I, I haven't had very long with scary in my life, but I, I'm assuming you all had happy memories with your families of of normal things and making cookies together and watching movies and throwing popcorn and, you know, whatever the playing board Th games, thro throwing popcorn. I don't yeah, know. Like, rude, like play, when alive. you watch a movie, people like playfully throw popcorn at each other as like a visual shorthand for like they get along. You know <laughs> what I'm talking never about? never watched a movie before in your life. I've watched you. I only watched a couple. <laughs> I really like watching Miracle. I've just watched Miracle. <laughs> <laughs> you know how sometimes parents will lie to their kids about whether or not Santa Claus exists? What, so, one more time. Do you know Santa Claus? I just learned this. I've been told <laughs> that this was a lie. Well, well, okay, so St. Nicholas technically does exist in terms of that's your dad, but like Santa Claus, the red guy with the suit, <laughs> uh huh, is not... I'm so sorry you're hearing this from me. Sir, I did figure it out, and it was quite the shock, and I would have preferred it that I was not deceived for so long. Yeah, it's but bullshit. if you didn't have that, if you didn't have that period of time where you were lied to, then you would have never had any magic in your life. You would have come out with your childlike wonder, and you would have immediately been hit in the face by reality. And all we were trying to do was save just a little, as much, as much time as we could with you being able to enjoy a normal, innocent life. And... Well, good we job, fucked I up, guess. I right. guess, because well, now you're in this and you're in it harder than we expected or wanted. And I'm sorry. Well, ah. look, I don't I don't think we like Willie. I think you're going to have to work on. Look, I think something's going with scary and it's not my place to say. But like, we don't like Willie, but like, we're not down with what you guys are suggesting either. We're not going to kill a world. So we're going to figure this out. But you, I don't know. You got to go back there and fix it. Hey, I uh, I really hope you do. And honestly, I'm kind of rooting for you guys. Don't tell Lark that you said that. Why not? Was what? What do you mean? Lark will do whatever it takes to get rid of the dude. Like, like your uncle's a complicated guy. He's a he's a good guy in general, but he is going to do whatever it takes to make sure that the doodler doesn't win. And if you try to get between him and that, it's he'll go. He'll get weird. Okay. He's not going to hurt you. Like, don't get me wrong. But like, I don't know. I I don't want to speak on on your on Look, your uncle's behalf. I, I'm going to take a shot on something here. You seem conflicted 
like we are about all of this. Yes. Can you think of anything else we can do? Any clues we can chase? Anyone we might even be able to talk to to find yeah. a third way to figure this out? Because both of these options suck. They're terrible. I got the psychopath lying to us, and then we've got you guys who we like, but you're doing all this crazy. Shit. You know, you want to, it's, it's just more death and destruction. There has to be another way. Like, is there anyone we could talk to? Did anyone from when you were a kid in this world that you remember that might have some information that could help us? There are definitely some people we knew. Their opinions of us are not what they once were. Maybe they'll be different for you. Maybe we'll have a better time talking to them. But what could be worthwhile is a long time ago, we and our dads went to this place called the, the Church of the Doodler. And it was basically a sort of a, monastery type place for people to try to worship the doodler and try to talk to him and stuff like that. And while we were there, we found out what the doodler wanted or Lark found out what the doodler wanted. Lark was the only one willing to put his mind at risk to sort of go into the doodler's brain, figure out what its goal was. It was like a physical eyes thing. You could sort of bring out when it, when he did, he uh, smashed it immediately and said that we had to kill the doodler at all costs. Maybe if you go there, you can find out how to kill it. If it's got the information inside of it of what it wanted, it probably also knows, you know, what it's scared of. So that's what I would recommend. Lark told us to never go back there ever again, no matter what. So we didn't because Lark's kind of scary and he sort of knows what he's talking about. But if I were you, that's what I would well, do. Thanks, man. That's I think that's yeah. where we're going to have to go. He draws on your on your video game map that zooms out a little bit. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> Here's another checkpoint where the uh, the monastery of the doodler is. Do you know if my last one, do you know if my dad's in danger right now? Uh, if he's here, he's in danger. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you know what he's doing? He was sent to go make peace with the undergrove. That's why we came here in the first place. Okay. That's what they told me anyway. All right. Well, hey, well, man, it's been a super fun yeah. learning more about you, you know, and it looks like we're coming up on the portal. I'm going to go wake Scary oh, up. Wait, before you wake her up real quick, like, look, man, we, we let's, let's uh, hey, the three, wait, let's be Scary's friends for a second. Like, look, here, let's all give a buddy, sir. Yes. <laughs> okay. Just quick little advice. Hey, like, we've buddy, only been friends sir. with her for a bit, but like, okay, number one, just like, just like step off Scary just a little bit. Just give her space, man. Like, you love her. Just like, you know, just let her know you love her, but like, yeah. just give her some space. Yeah, stop getting all up in her shit. And maybe like, you know what, f share her interests. I hear a lot of talking, but not a lot of, you know, poetry. Maybe like, you know, maybe take the time, maybe learn you some should poetry. You this poet named Rupi Kaur. Oh my God. <laughs> scary, <laughs> scary, scary wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, Scary, we're just talking. We were just talking about sports and stuff. Just whatever. Scary, what kind of stuff do you like? <laughs> no, <laughs> holy <laughs> shit! This <laughs> fucking loser. Scary, I love you. What kind of stuff are you into? Um, I'm into being alone and that's so not answering questions. Cool. Can you tell me more? Oh shit, that's a question. Tell me more about that. <laughs> we're gonna need to work on this guy. All right. Well, I, I guess I'll head out. All yeah. right. Cool. Good. Good, good seeing you. S yeah. He walks away and is like trying to walk away all cool without turning around. But then he turns around and goes later and like does a finger gun at you. But it's like weird. And <sighs> then he like shakes. And he's like, ah, never knew him. And then turns back around and then tries to hook a thumb <laughs> over his back as he's walking away. And then thinks that's also weird. And he just uh, uh, and he does finger guns. But instead of the index fingers, he does middle fingers. So you're like, is he flipping us off? <laughs> How do you fuck up finger guns like that? And then he tries to he just basically tries to do a bunch of cool hand things like waving at you and stuff without oh, turning man. around. And then, and then he basically settles for. Raising his hand, turning it around so his palms facing you, then like putting his fingers down, like bye. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes, Love you, bye. And then he steps into the portal. And uh, he is gone. Wow, your dad's a pretty cool guy, scary. <laughs> your stepdad. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. How are you? I'm getting a good rest. Uh, oh, yeah. I feel well rested. Not that it ever really rested the chaos in my soul. Yeah, we get it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no. Guess what, though? I think that we should go to a church. Oh, a church oh. of the doodler. That's that's how well, do you know that? How do you know that? Um, I just got a feeling, you know. All right. Well, should we do that before getting my dad? I feel like let's get I mean, triage. You know, I think we should swing by Grant first. Plus, he might have some more information for us in terms of like what yeah. to do with the I doodler. Mean, Plus, I feel like Link's going to have a nervous breakdown or something if we don't go see his no, dad. Like, yeah. I mean, maybe we don't have to go see yeah, my dad now. Wait, what do you mean, bro? What do you mean? What? Oh, no, no. It's like whatever's more important. You know, I don't know. What, I feel mm, like but that, insight. That, I rolled a 19. I mean, he's just, just nervous about going to see his dad. Oh, OK. I like normal. Yeah, what's up? 
His left foot has been tapping at 200 beats per second ever since we got on that the thing. bus. I think he actually wants to go. To Tell you're dad. so loud. I can hear you, dude. Okay, look, like, I'm just nervous about, like, yeah, I'm just a little angry at my dad. And I don't know. Like, uh, maybe we don't need him right now. Somebody's scared to see their dad. I'm not scared. You're, no. Somebody's scared Yeah, to some see of us actually like our parents. I'm sorry that that's such a problem for you, you know? Like, I'm scared. Yeah, scary. some of us, you know, like, don't just take people yeah. who love us for granted and we, we care well, okay, about them. Okay, well, cool. Your okay. dad's well, the norm. She's having a tough time. I'm just, I'm not scared. Scary. I'm just, I'm angry. Or, like, I'm, I don't know. Maybe he's doing something important. And clearly, if he's doing something important, he doesn't need me. Otherwise, he would have told me stuff earlier. So, like, maybe he's just doing his thing and maybe we should do our third plan anyways. Or, like, I just don't want to ruin our third plan. Maybe we go help my dad and that's just going to help end this world or whatever. But, Link, like, you feel hands on your shoulders massaging them. Oh, oh, hey, thanks, Taylor. Um, Hi, yeah, no, I'm over here. What? No, hey. it's, 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 it's me. You just look a little. Oh, tense. oh, hey, Hermie. Oh, hey, oh. Hermie. Hey, oh, I've, wow. God, we kind of forgot hey. about you. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I've been here shockingly the whole time. good at this. I, oh, I know. You can stop. I, now, play, I played a masseuse once. I played Zatoichi. <laughs> 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 that's right. You were good in that. Thank you. Um, I, could, I couldn't see how good I was. It was a little pun from actors to actors. You feel anything back there though? I got like no knots. I keep myself loose. That's uh, not true. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you're just one big knot. You're like oh, a really? race horse after oh. race day. Mm -hmm. Sorry, continue though. Just want to oh, remind nothing. you I just whatever. I just think we should do whatever is most practical to save two entire worlds, which is our responsibility now, rather than whatever is, you know, I feel, you know, I should do. Anyways, that's all. Just a group. Let's just take a group vote. And just pretend my dad's not part of the equation. Should we go to the undergrove or should we go to this church? Well, I mean, if your dad's not part of the equation, then we definitely don't need to just go to a place to uh, see yeah. stuff. Yeah, <laughs> see, yeah we're so not like, on a tourist mission here. What do you think, Kermit? You're part of the group, I guess. Uh, Five, well, breaks how good is the massage? Let me roll. Ooh, it's a natural one massage. Oh, no. No, no. Ow. Uh, <laughs> he's, that's, you Pain were just not weakness. free. You were not free, and he's introducing he's added knots. knots. I've added yeah. knots. Pain's just weakness leaving your body. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no. Don't worry about it. Uh, if it were me, it sounds like a place that maybe was a church a long time ago doesn't have a lot of stuff in it right now that is relevant, or it's going to be relevant whenever you want it to be, but it sounds like your dad could potentially be in danger like right now. Yeah, that's like, there's saying, like a yeah. time yeah. Okay. Do you guys feel better after talking to your dads? Absolutely not. No. I don't talk to my dad. No? No. Cool. Well, I guess my that's the way is... to go, then. Let's go talk to my dad. Let's my do dad's that. anime. Okay, come on. I'm going to drive, chat. if you guys don't mind. What? I, I, yeah, I think well when I'm driving. Or I don't think. That's that's the best part about it. You just like can focus on the road. So you drive to the Undergrove, according to the map that you have. And Any encounters on the way? Encounter <laughs> table. Encounter <laughs> table. Yeah, I'll roll an encounter yeah! table. Yeah! Nice. An immense centipede-like beast erupts from the snow, rows of chitinous plates on its back, glowing red hot. Wow! Whoa! Kitty, wow. drive past fight it! it. <laughs> Kitty, bat it around and fight it. <laughs> the cat just jumps really high in the air and then scampers away. Oh yeah, it flattens Hell us yeah. into the bottom of the thing, how fast it jumps. It's yeah. Like pickle. Oh, we run into a pickle. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, it's actually a pickle. It thinks it's what I just described, but it's actually just a very large pickle. It freaks out, runs away, and takes you to the undergrove. You guys remember that time our car freaked out? <laughs> so you head to the remains of what looked to be a rather bustling city center, and there is seemingly nothing at all there. Most of it seems like it's been raised to the ground entirely. It's just this big flat plain of wreckage and nothingness. Is this like a forest or like what is the... It's just a, oh, it's, it's a abandoned ruins of like a okay. shitty plaza that had like a used game store and like just a bunch of random, you know, little like a little plaza between an intersection essentially. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all this Southern has been Southern California strip mall vibes. Yes, exactly. Is it the Empire Center? No. Oh, okay. If it was the Empire Center, I would have well, mentioned that's not one of the we strip mall. That is a, <laughs> that's a premium a outdoor mall. I would have mentioned experience. one of the many wonderful things that are at the Empire Center. For example, Chipotle and Grain Lab. <laughs> Grain Lab. <laughs> there's uh, a Yala. There's Fresh. a California sushi roll. Don't forget that there is a Outback right next to. Yeah. But amidst that, you see a staircase leading downward. Mm. Uh, can we hear anything in the staircase? Little investo. You enough. hear steps. You hear something or someone going down the staircase. There's a big hole in the ground with stairs going down. Yes. And we hear stuff down. Does there. it look like a subway stairs? I just want to know if it's like a spooky cathedral staircase from the ground, like something that was made, or is it like... It looks like something that was made in a style that is not similar to the building surrounding it. It doesn't look like okay. stucco and industrial design. It looks like something almost medieval. A lot of wood steps, twigs holding away the soil from the actual passage huh. of the stairway, leading down into darkness. Okay, I'm going to do a sacred weapon so I can make my cool gun that shoots myself glow. And then I'm going to see if I can see anything down the staircase. Okay, great. 
as you peer down the staircase, you see your dad. What? <laughs> <laughs> you see Grant heading down the stairs, holding a parcel in his hands, a big box wrapped in wrapping paper. And he, he like turns around and winces at you and goes, Link, oh, oh, yeah, you're okay. I'm you're okay. Oh, and I just, oh, okay. I just injected myself to like, oh, this is so good. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm the luckiest man in the world. I am so, so happy. Can you just wait here? No. Uh, I'm okay. mad at you, mister. <laughs> well, in the words of my dad, let's talk about that later. Daddy's what? just got to, I got to, I got to. Uh uh, drop off this gift really quick and sort of prevent some bad stuff from happening. And then we'll be. What? You, no, you tell us now. We're, we're here. And, and oh, mm, I could. You know, dad is, it's been weeks without you. And you didn't tell us anything. And you're a murderer. And you did. The first rule whoa, in your whoa, book is don't, is don't lie. And that's all you've been doing this whole time. I. Uh, I'm, uh, I start kicking the wall. I'm so. Uh, I'm so. We're not supposed to use violence. But I could, if this was the, if you were the wall, I'd be kicking even harder. I'll tell you what. Wait, no, your soccer feet. And I try to pull them off. You need those. <laughs> you need those toes, <laughs> boy. Wait, you need those toes, buddy. You gotta keep. You gotta Fine, keep fresh. I don't need my hands though. And I start punching the wall. <laughs> I wish this was your face, Dad. I'm so angry. Link, you gotta. Okay, ground yourself. Breathe in. Oh yeah, I'll do that. Breathe ground out. myself. Captain Dan. Mm -hmm. We should talk about everything you talked about. You have every right to be upset, but just not right here, right now. I've mm -hmm. got to go do this thing, and then we can talk. We can go back home, and we can we can talk together. All right, and well, then what's everything the thing will you actually want to do? Because I think you lost doing thing privileges for lying all the time. So now you got to tell me what you're going to do. I've lost doing thing privileges. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I am taking this, and mm -hmm. he lifts the parcel to the head of the undergrove, the queen of the undergrove, because she's not very happy with us, and I wanted to... Mm. Fix things. She sounds like she knows what she's talking about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I, that's fair. But I'm just gonna do it real quick, and then I'll be right out. I say we follow him. Yeah, we're yeah, gonna yeah. follow you. <sighs> By the way, we already met your other two dads that just did a bunch of bad stuff, and we got we got the tape measure and um, whatever the first thing we got. Whatever we got, we've done it all ourselves already. When you say you got the tape measure, yeah. you can roll insight if you like. Uh, Seventeen. Wow. Uh, you can see his eyes brighten for a second. But we're not using it to blow up a yeah. whole world. So get that, that thought that, out of his, your head. His shoulders immediately <laughs> stop. He's like, come on. <laughs> no. You, they told you that? Look, we don't trust you freaking guys any farther than we can throw you or kick you. That's for you, yeah. Lincoln oh, Scary. Yeah. So look, if you're going to go make some deal with someone, we got we want to know what you're giving them and we want to know who they are. So we're coming with you, whether you like it or not. Fine. All right. Follow me. And whatever you do, don't mention. You know what? Just Just don't talk. Just follow my lead. <laughs> okay. You'll be um, fine. But I mean, realistically, we're probably going to say something. Yeah, I know. Just, just like, just be cool. <laughs> just, uh, just, just, please, be just, cool. just please be cool. Please, God, be cool. Because if they wanted to, the things down here could rip the skin from your flesh and just okay. eat it. Metal. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it is. But not when it's happening to you. So, all right. All right. Follow me. So he heads down some stairs for a long, 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 long time. Stony silence between Link yeah. and Grant that whole time. Clearly putting like my, my hand holding hand like in a cross, but like kind of getting near him so he knows I'm making a point of not holding his hands. Taylor talks to the group and he's like, hopefully there's an elevator on the way back up. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of descending and going downstairs easier. Not looking forward to the up. Yeah, man, that's true. <laughs> yeah. After an eternity of walking <laughs> in this up down roomless uh, stairwell, after an eternity of walking down these steps, you come to what looks like a heavy door made of meat. It is oh. locked. Made of meat? Meat. Oh. You can feel a light. It's not alive meat. It's not pulsating or anything like that. It just looks like it's made of like old, sort of magically preserved steak. Jer beef jerky. Okay. You feel a light, comforting heat from the other side. Mm. Um, <laughs> Grant turns to you and says, I just gotta, I just gotta get this open. So don't freak out. I'm just going to pick the lock. Like, is that cool? That's cool. It's not a big uh, deal. It's yeah, actually pretty cool if you can pick yeah. the lock. But since you're saying don't freak out, it makes me think that something weird's going to happen when you do it. Well, so nothing just, like, nothing weird's going to happen. I just like, um, we know you blew up a whole world. Like yeah. you opening a door is not that okay. scary to I just, us, I'm just know? saying. What are you going to do? Like, like, lick when, it? When, like what? when we go in, keep your eyes down at first. Okay? That's all I'm saying. Just don't. You're so vague about everything. Yeah, dads are vague. Yeah. Dads like, don't want to spoil reveals. <laughs> <laughs> so after a minute or so, Grant picks the lock. Thank you for making it a, a realistic amount of time to pick a lock, by Thank the way. You. These fucking movie shit where they jiggle a credit card and two seconds later <laughs> the door pops open. To be fair, if you're credit carding a lock. Uh, real quick, I want Taylor to try and like learn from this action. Ooh. Uh, okay. Roll. Yeah, I mean, uh, oh, in case we get locked insight. in or something. Good idea. Or perception or investigation. Any of those. I'm going to do insight. 
16 plus 3, 19. Nice. Right. You get a plus one to future lock picking. Yeah. Because yeah. you saw a master do it. So he puts his hand on the handle and he goes, I would recommend closing your eyes. And then once it stops hurting, opening your eyes. It's going to hurt? But what? you're not going to trust whatever I say, I'm assuming. So do, no, you, we'll do you? trust. Okay, close your eyes. Okay. It's going to be really okay. bright. Then you can open your eyes after a little bit when you acclimate, okay? Okay. All right. All right. So he opens the door. Do you close your eyes? I'm yeah. closing yes. my eyes in real life. Yeah. I close all right. my I'm eyes. I'm closing yeah. my eyes. I hope you have something physical, Anthony. We're all closing our eyes in real life. Real oh, I, I didn't want you to do that in real life. But <laughs> well, I have nothing it. physical I, for you. I can't see anything. Yeah. Okay. It's so dark in here. So yeah. even with your eyes closed, a light, unlike any you have ever seen, except in a single premonition of the future, strikes your closed eyelids and the warmth and brightness of it and the unfamiliarity with it almost reduces you to tears. It's a fleshlight. As you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beth, who is that unfamiliarity? <laughs> Taylor's here. <laughs> Never mind, end it, end the episode right there. You don't get to, you don't get to figure out what's in there until no, next episode. End it. That's the cliffhanger. No, that's the cliffhanger. You did what you did. No. <laughs> Days whisked away, but is there something more to say? You know that no one knows us better than ourselves. Used to tell myself it'll be alright. Pretty lies, let me sleep at night. I know that no one knows me better than myself. And I know I'll get this right. It's just a matter of time till we make it out alive. We gotta pick ourselves up and say, not today, no, not today. We live for tomorrow, make steel and bow, break where we can't change. We gotta pick ourselves up and say, not today, no, not today. I don't need Dungeons and Daddies is Matt Arnold as Lincoln Lee Wilson, Anthony Birch as our DM, Will Campos as Normal Oak, Beth May as Scary Marlowe, and myself, Freddie Wong, as Taylor Swift. Our theme song is On My Way by Maxton Waller. Brian Fernandez is our content producer, Ashley Nicolette is our community manager, Esther Ellis is our lead editor, Travis Reeves provides additional editing, and Robin Rapp is our transcriber. Special thanks this week to Adam, who provided a name for an item we use in this episode. That's one of the many perks you get. You can submit things to us. Names, character names, place names that we'll sometimes use. This is a perk of being a Patreon supporter. That's right, we got Patreon. And some of the people who support us are people like Alan Burley, Ryan Jarvis, Vyun, Matt Wasson, Evan Martin, Chris Sweeney, Patricia Zabelli, Kaylin A. Mason, Amy Beliveau, Eli Broyd, Jiggle Stank, Phil Gregory, KD Bird, Caitlin Hart, Mike B, Andrew Icard, Elizabeth Franson, Samuel Plaster, Quentin Barnes, and Stephen Graham. That's just some of the people who support us. Yeah, let me just direct your attention over here real quick to our Patreon, which we've been running since like episode six of season one, which means that there's been years of bonus content content, behind the scenes content, content content accruing there in the form of after shows, bonus campaigns, live shows, etc. You can go to DungeonsAndDaddies.com and click on Patreon at the top and you can like flick your mouse wheel down and if you have one of those mice that has a button where you can unlock the wheel so it spins freely, it's very satisfying to do that on that page because you can just gawk at how much stuff there is to experience as it scrolls by your eyes at light speed. Truly the Patreon is the gift that keeps on giving, assuming that you actually like what we do here. If you hate us, the Patreon, probably not for you. But if you enjoy this show, check it out. You can get on board for just $5 a month, which also gives you access to our vibrant Discord community where we do live listens. You can discuss show conspiracy theories and much more. That's all at patreon.com slash dungeons and dads. Our website is dungeonsanddaddies.com. Our Twitter is Dungeons and Dads. The subreddit's over at Dungeons and Daddies. And our next episode comes out November 1st, two weeks from now, every two weeks, just in case you don't know that. Thanks so much for listening. We will see you then. Do we know what it is? No, that's a no, funny no. cliffhanger. <laughs>
is like devastating. It. I like it. I'm so funny. <laughs> <laughs> My rhymes are better, like Roger Federer. Uh, 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 like cut you like razors wearing my blazer uh, 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 don't watch the movie a razor starring Arnold Schwarzenegger it's not as good as some of his other films like Predator don't watch Predator 2 that's got Danny Glover I'm just a lover here to tell you that like no other with my brothers here in the Black Parade so I should be it's still in charge of the Black Parade you love me so much